What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can clean out your gaming PC with an air compressor and this basically costs no money so you don't have to go get those air cans that can leak out and ruin your PC. This is a pretty easy way to do it, you just have to be pretty careful and I'll show you exactly how you guys can do it. So before we start this video, whoever comments first on this video is actually going to get a shout out on next week's video. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys drop a comment down below. And anyways, let's get into this week's video. Today I'll be showing you how to clean your PC with an air compressor. Many people like myself dread cleaning out their PCs and it is pretty easy to overlook. Eventually it becomes like mine which is nearly a fire hazard. Having dust like this can block airflow and affect how your machine performs and it could even cause it to run hotter than it should. So this is why I'll be showing you how I cleaned out my PC. Before I started, I ran a benchmark to see if cleaning my PC out will improve the score or lower the temperature. Before any cleaning, my CPU was reaching 50 degrees Celsius at max while running Cinebench several times. So first I unplugged everything and I took the front panel off my PC. If your case does not have a front panel that comes off like mine, you may just have a little filter to slide out. On my Corsair Spec 1, I just have a filter on the bottom that I need to take out. Next, just get your air compressor and get a good tip on there and begin gently spraying dust out of your PC. Make sure that you do not stick the tip of the air compressor too close to your computer components because the air coming out of these things is strong and can definitely damage your machine. So hold it a few feet away and limit how much air you're letting out. I made sure I went over all the fans very well and I also cleaned the filters out. This took all of a couple minutes and I was done. Then it was time to wipe the rest of the dust away. Next I just took a damp microfiber towel and I just wiped the areas that had remaining dust. After that it was time to plug my PC back up and see if it still boot. After I hooked it back up, a wire started rubbing against a fan but after I moved it, it ran fine again. I let my PC run Cinebench several times again to get it warm back up and sure enough I was able to lower my max temperature by 2 degrees. My new max temperature was 48 degrees Celsius. My Cinebench score did not go up any though. A few degrees probably won't do anything crazy for my PC, but if your dust was worse than mine, you may see more significant improvements. Well anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was pretty short, but I'm trying to record a bunch of videos before I go on a vacation, so I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below and you guys can leave any feedback down below and I'll try and respond to all of you guys. And also I record every Saturday, so if you guys are interested in tech content, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Reality. It is touching the truth.